The NHRA North Central Division kicked off their 2015 Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series season at historic Lucas Oil Raceway in Brownsburg, Indiana on May 1st through the 3rd. Beautiful weather greeted a record field of nearly 670 racers for the Ray Skillman Auto Group NHRA Spring Spectacle of Speed. Here are the final rounds from our D3 TV coverage. The action is called by Derek Beach, the voice of the NHRA North Central Division. It is final round of time here in Tom Alcohol Direct Sir. Your number one and seven qualifiers have fought through the field to get here to this final round. Brandon Bewart, the 32-year-old contractor from Urbana, Illinois. The AV Construction, that is his family-owned business. The Spitzer Race Car, right-hand side, the converter-style car is over on the right hand side Mia Tedesco has that Pittsburgh Pennsylvania base Lucas Oil Cars Protection Plus we find parts in her lot of motorsports Diego drags her left hand lane Dave fist pump back away it is up to the drivers is it going to be Mia Tedesco who's already won on tour this year or is it going to be Brandon Miller going for the dub he finished fourth in the Region last year, final round, set to go. Oh, ahead, top in, it's gonna be Mia Tedesco. 5.356, 269 miles an hour, and Mia Tedesco takes the win here. That is win number two in 2015 for that top alcohol dragster crew. Hats off to Brandon Dewar, 541, 268. Ran exactly what he did in qualifying, but Mia Tedesco, she took the win. Fastest car in the property and wins in the final round. Their top alcohol dragster. for sure Todd Robertson big time smoky burnout the 2012 body Monte Carlo Chevrolet out of Harrison Township Michigan will be on the right hand side huge number three qualifying the category and look at the race day really qualifying means nothing it just means that you are fast enough to get into the show and then you are dog fighting from there we've had upsets we've seen crazy things happen here in top alcohol funny car this weekend Todd Robertson, right side. Paul Noakes, Team Meritor. From Ontario, Canada comes the Automotive High School shop teacher. Left hand side, it's Ford, Blue Oval Chevy. Final round. Paul Noakes, Todd Robertson. Is it gonna be Team Meritor or is it gonna be Team Eaton? Taking the win here, we've already crowned one champion, that's Mia Tedesco.254 miles an hour and he's going to take the win here in top alcohol funny car All right. 
by Pro Sox Snowmobile Time. Final round. Scotty Hagen, Glenn Hall. Glenn Hall right side. Jordan Wisconsin, the Arctic Cat, the number one qualifier, and Scott Hagen, the number two qualifier. They meet head to head in the final round here today. Scott Hagen and Glenn Hall. Top of the racetrack, 8.207, and Glenn Hall wins it here today at 157 miles an hour in pro stock snowmobile. He takes down the 847-151 run of Scotty Hagen. That final round there today. Glenn Hall is your winner. Well, here comes the final round. In Spencer Top Dragster. From Portland, Indiana, here comes the American race car of Rob Mosier. 624 is going to be the dial in the right side. He will take on the second in a Kentucky Spencer race car with a pro charger also of Andy Johnson. Now, this is big. Andy dials up over two tenths of a second. He's in at 6.23 when he is all day long been at 6.0. So Rob Mosier, a brand new combination, and he's in a final round now for Team Mosier Engineering. Rocky Van Note, the whole team, Justin, up there watching on. Final round, Spitzer top, Drexler, here we go. the gate top into the racetrack it's gonna be Rob Mosier look at that Mosier engineering 626 218 to the 629 220 mile an hour charge out of the Cynthia Kentucky Andrew Johnson that is a big time run and a big time win for a hometown racer Rob Mosier it is time So it's Canada versus Ohio, all Chevrolet final. The 1963 split window Corvette left-hand side for Gerard Maletti. He will dial in at 7.04. He will take on the Warren, Ohio 1968 Chevrolet Camaro for Marco Abruzzi. Marco Abruzzi, 6.86. ET prediction, summit side, kind of fitting for the Abruzzi summit dot com back Camaro the horsepower coming at Holbrook shop him and Jeff Coon get a very good tune up on that race car on the right hand side oh Canada Gerard Mullet ready to rock here in the final round of the Brodex Steve Schmidt competition engines top sportsman category Pre-stage beams are lit. Maruzzi wastes no time. The Camaro's in, the Corvette's in. Oh, they turn it green. Here comes Marco. Top in. It's going to be Gerard Millet. 703 dual breakout. And he is closer. The team from Canada picks up the dub here in the Brodex Steve Schmidt competition engines. Top sportsman category. An awesome final round. They ran it all the way to the finish line stripe. Marco pushed it deep. Gerard backed off a little bit and he takes that 63 split window for the win. All right.
right, the L Auto and Automatic. 333 Chevrolet at 914. 881. 881 on index on the National Dragster side for Todd Franz, the body shop owner from Louisville. Oh, they'll be back. You can all hang out here. Hang out here. There comes Rob Mosier. He drives his six-second race car back into the winner's circle. Get down. All right, final round. Comp Eliminator. Oh, Billingsley lights both bulbs. He wastes no time. Now he backs out. Okay, I thought David was going to put both bulbs and stay there. And then I'm like, well, Todd Prince can take all the time he wants. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Is it going to be the Chevrolet Camaro or the Pontiac G5? to Todd France. Todd France runs for the money and he takes it down the National Dragster side, clicks it off early. The team out of Louisville, their Pontiac G5 is victorious here in competition eliminator. So Drew Whalen, Team Lucas Oil, left-hand lane. They're at 10:42. They're going to give the head start to Austin Richardson, the young boy, of the Richardson Racing Clan. Over there, on the right-hand side, that Chevy Two comes to play at 11:30, summit side of the racetrack. Don't forget, right behind Austin, you got Blake running in Super Street. So Dad watching on. The King, Edmund Richardson, watching his 16-year-old son battle a final round at Stock Eliminator. They go to the green, they got ourselves a drag race. Out in front is going to be the Nova. Here comes Drew Whalen's Lucas Oil Firebird top end. It's going to be Richardson. Austin Richardson just picked up his very first divisional event win here at Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis. Man, oh man, Dad's got to be happy with that one for the Richardson boys racing and Team Strange. They're going to be back in the winner's circle today. Now, let's see if the Richardson can go two for two. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, that's the Nova right side for Ryan Dillman. It's the 1090 Super Street category up now. All right, so uh, Blake is wheeling the S10 truck over there. The Chevrolet, small block, left side. Ryan Dillman, right side. All Chevrolet final here in the Super Street 1090 category. It's throttle stop racing at its finest. They call it the entry level category, the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, but it's far from that. One Richardson hoisted a Wally. Let's see if two. Dillman, that family's had a lot of history here at Lucas Oil Raceway. They are set in the pre stage beam. Richardson left, Dillman right. Here we go. Green light left side, green light right side. The truck comes off the stop. Here comes the Nova chasing down Lake Richardson. Top in, it's gonna be Ryan Dillman. 1092 to the 1089. Better off the starting line was Dillman. 128 miles an hour to the 10898. Starting line advantage there for Ryan Dillman. He turns it into a win line. Congratulations to the team out of Indianapolis. The win here in the Super Street category. That is way, way cool. Riverside, Illinois comes the Chevrolet Cobalt. 
They call it the Shy Town Shaker for Brady Spling Air at 9:38, 10:20 in the top hand scoreboard for Ray Skillman, Chevrolet Camaro of David Rampy. Brina Spling Air is going to leave a second here in this matchup, and she's going to take on one of the most winningest drivers of the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, David Rampey, him and Barry Davis over there at a Piedmont, Alabama. Oh, man. Brina and Dad Jeff roll up Summit side. Barry and David roll up National Dragster side. Time to get down to business here in Super Stock. Bow chicka wow wow. Now he's coming back home. Oh, oh, for David Rampy and it's gonna be Brina Spling Air. Man, oh man, the Chi-Town Shaker is gonna make some noise here in Indianapolis. 9.46 and the 9.38, it does not matter because a green light the right side and a red line on the left side determine that one at the starting line. And to go up against one of the best in the business, David Rampey. Couldn't imagine what brain his nerves were on that run. Steve Theodore, a former division champion way back in the day when he ran Super Street with the Nova. He comes up now with a 1963 Corvette with a 540 cubic inch Zimmerman Brothers Chevrolet right side. The Elrod runs to the left hand side. Jacob Elrod, the financial advisor for Team Sunoco. They got a whole bunch of Sunoco folks in the house today. That would be pretty cool to see him in the winter circle. Steve, he's back in groove here. Right hand side. Driving pretty good today, to say the least. It's the final round of the day. And we have green lights. Out and down course, here comes Steve. Jig up left side. Top in, it's going to be Steve Theodore. 9, 9, 2, 150 miles an hour. And Team Fast Lube, Armor Paving and Sealing of McLaughlin Oil is going to take the W here in Indianapolis. Indy's been good to Steve, and now let's see how good it's going to be to teammate Kendra Reinschild. Last side. Voila. Swing that real good. Back up to the starting line. Kendra Reinschild, right side. Representing Indiana. This is her home state. Home race. Families in the house. Steve already took it in super gas. Gonna be back to back. 890 and uh, 990 wins. She is alongside a former division and world champ, Ray Conley. Fair American race cars. Elyria, Ohio is where he calls home. The goggles come down. They roll into the beam. Tethered up, ready to go. Some people call it a visor, we call it goggles. They are set. Green light right, green light right. Coming off the stop side by side. Kendra looks over her left hand shoulder. It's gonna be Ray Conley, 889, dual breakout to the 888. Ray Conley and the O'Leary, Ohio team for American Race Cars is your winner here in Super Cop. Congratulations to all of our winners. The next stop on the NHRA North Central Division Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series Tour will be the Mickey Mart Rewards Cavalcade of Stars presented by Budweiser on May 15th through the 17th at Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio. For race results, sponsor information, upcoming events, and anything happening in the land of the winners, including live access to D3 TV, go to our website at nhradiv3.com. <laughs>